I'm hot. But it's something about cleaning my stairs, like Cinderella, that I know that it's super clean. Like, it's something about cleaning your stairs on your hands and knees. It's just something about it. I just know that it's clean. Anyways, oh my gosh, you guys. I know you guys seen my new decorations for my room. I know y'all seen it! So Jordan and I went to Target the other day. And I literally went there just for my pillows. And I put them all together. That's exactly how I wanted them to be. Um, as you guys seen, I had switched them up a little bit because my original design didn't really work out so I put the square pillows on the side but anyways we went there and we seen that cute ottoman you guys I'm, I have you guys on it but that super cute ottoman I showed you guys we went there and it was a hundred dollars and Jordan was like it's just so cool so he went to go scan it just to see if it was like 75 or 100 because like that makes a big difference to us like the 25 dollars and he was like we're getting it it's 50 bucks like it we're getting it and it was also 50 dollars so it was 50 bucks and I'm, I mean that's still pricey but since it was originally 100 girl you know I had to grab it I wish they had two because I probably would have got two but it really does not look bad with the one it does and I like it right I now. like it like that just one mm -hmm. um yeah anyways so yeah I got the little stair foyer area done which is super amazing for the dogs uh harnesses and stuff and then i put up a shoe rack because we all have so many shoes and i brought the other one upstairs to the hallway but um i'm just gluing on a nail real fast real fast i feel so incomplete without my nail being on hold on i did my lashes yesterday you guys aren't they so cute i'm really picky with lashes i don't know why i'm sitting in front of this dang window without sunscreen on my face is gonna get so red I'm setting myself up for failure. Um, anyways, so yeah, I did my lashes yesterday, you guys. Don't they look super cute? I did Jordan's hair. Come here, buddy. I be calling him buddy. I think it's funny. Show them your hair. Come on, go like that. Go like that, yeah. Go like that, yeah. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Y'all, his hair is getting so long. It's like longer than mine's. It's like same length. About the same length. Mm -hmm. That's kind of embarrassing that my fiance's hair is about the same. <laughs> Dude, your eyes are so light. When he takes his glasses off, oh my gosh, they're hazel? I think so. I don't know what the heck they are, but they're green. They I have like, they were hazel. they're like green. What the heck? I don't know. I don't even know eye colors. All I know is I have brown eyes, like light brown eyes, and he has like. Your eyes are so freaking cute. Like, whenever I look into your eyes, I'm like, oh my gosh. You know, I tell you that all the time, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? You're so cute. No, it's not picking it up. Anyways, what's the deal for today, babe? Well, I know you said you got to go to Value City. Are you really going to take me? Yeah. Yeah. You said it was literally like, what, six minutes away? Eight that? minutes or something. I don't know. Six or eight minutes. Yeah, that's something light like that. work. Mm -hmm. And then you didn't have to go anywhere else? Um, I did want to go to Target. I go there every single day, I feel like. I did want to go to Target because the laundry basket that I have in my bathroom right now, I guess they're storage baskets, so I could use them as pillow baskets and like a comforter basket. I can get one of them to roll my comforter up in and put it in every single night because I use this comforter as decoration. And then the other one, I could put my spare pillows that I sleep on inside of the basket. So I'll get like two to put right here. I think that'll be super cute. Um, and then as far as food, we have so much going on today. Today, like we're like cleaning, we're putting stuff up, we're doing so much stuff as a family. Um, so I'm starting so late. It's all it's already like what one o'clock? It's like two. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I had I gotta get in the shower and brush my teeth and wash my face. But yeah, we're doing stuff as a family. We're trying to get things done. Um, and I think for food, we should go to Bushes because like I told my family, I don't want to like cook in the kitchen today because I just want to keep everything as clean and organized as possible since we're doing so much and things are everywhere today um i feel like i say that every single vlog we're doing stuff every single day we're doing different things every single day bringing the house together every single day so yeah i think i just need to get in the shower because my mind is like super foggy and fuzzy um i need to drink a little bit more caffeine so i'll probably pour an energy an energy drink so i guess i'll get in the shower then and we'll head to value city See if they have a dresser because as you guys know I've been trying to work on my closet but my closet does not have that much space so I have to get a dresser dresser which I'm honestly not the happiest about only because I love the vibe of my room and I kind of feel like if I were to put any kind of dresser in here it's not gonna like be the same but it is what it is I would rather have less stress than care about the look of this room I'm gonna try to get something to match it I took a picture of this one side area so that when I get to value city I can just put the phone up and kind of figure out which one would go right there um, so yeah, it'll be Value City, Target, and I guess we can stop by Bushes to get some food. There's like this little market, and they sell like 
food like cooked food they have all kind of cooked food i got a load of potato yesterday and i got some sushi my mom got some baby back ribs i got you some chicken tenders some sweet chili chicken i mean girl oreo cupcakes they have everything pre-made like you can literally have anything that you want and it's all pre-made so yeah we'll probably just go there for some food okay. because when i start to get moody and annoyed it's because i haven't eaten and i'm not like hydrated there's always something off balance if i start to get annoyed and really moody so you should be getting angry yeah, I do get angry. And I've been super hungry lately. My anxiety was super bad in my old, at my old apartment that I would literally start eating my food and get so grossed out and be like, mm. like I can't eat it. Like I was starting to have like really bad eating issues. <clears throat> it was actually starting to become really bad. I'm not even gonna lie. So I'm trying to get over that right now, which is really hard because it's not something that's super easy to just out of nowhere, you know, just be able to finish all your food because I literally get grossed out midway. Mm. I could want something so bad, start eating it, and then I'd be like, mm. Mm hmm. And I lost a lot of weight that way. Um, but that's literally what anxiety will do to you. So, <laughs> and like I said, my mom and I are trying to figure out what the root of my anxiety is. And I, I feel like I 100% know that it's fear. Like being scared of certain things, um, being scared of the unknown. But I'm a child of the most high, the one and only living God, the king of kings, the Lord of lords. He owns all of this. And if you think he's not going to protect his little baby girl, that's crazy. So it's like, I have to think that way. I have to think that way. Like, that's just what it is, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. But could you pour me an energy drink with some ice on it? Yeah. So he actually is out of work today. I'm super excited. He went in. He goes in like super early. And I seen somebody walking up to our door and I was like, okay, see, I'm not about to sit up here and play this game. He got a black hat on. Heck, and I looked down. It's my own fiance. He come in. He said the power's out at his place, at his job. And they were just sitting there with no power for like hours. Exactly. <laughs> thinking it was going to come back on and it didn't. So he's home today, which I'm super excited about. I missed you. I miss you too. You know, I stay thinking about you. Okay, so I'll get in the shower. Mm -hmm. And I don't even want to wash my hair. I was going to co-wash it, but I just don't want to. It's super cute like this. I looked so cute yesterday. <gasps> you guys. You guys know how I am about my toes. Like, I'm su super serious about getting my toenails to look amazing. So, I booked, my mom and I booked an appointment for the guys on Sunday. Because, like I told you guys in my recent video, um, I wanted to get, like, all four of us to get our pedicures done. But the guys work during the weekdays. And my mom and I, we, we stay home. So, I was like, okay, the only day they're going to be available is a, a Sunday. And so, we booked an appointment for the guys to go get their pedicures. We already got ours. And then my mom's going to get her nails done on the day that they get their pedicures. And I'm going to have to, like, sit there and, like, make sure they're doing her shape right. Because my mom's super picky. It's not a joke. Let me show y'all my dang feet. So, yesterday was, like, a pamper day because my mom and I went out. We got some groceries. Got some good food. I did my lashes. I did his hair. And I got my feet done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Honey, my feet look so cute. Oh. You guys, look how freaking cute. The precision is crazy. So, um, as you guys know, my toenails do not lay flat. My dad's toenail didn't lay flat, so mine doesn't lay flat. It comes up. So I've been trying to find a really good nail artist to do my feet. And I've been going to my girl Lily for a minute uh, where I used to live. And I'm not going to lie, you guys. She started slacking. She started cutting me. She started having an attitude. Girl, I'm not, I couldn't deal with it no more. So it was perfect timing because we moved here. And I found my nail tech. I had to ask him for his name and everything because this is not a joke. They are so cute. So I got this super cute pink. It's a super light pink. I had him put some white underneath it to make it super like bright and cute. Look how cute he did that, you guys. He did my acrylic toenails so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. And no, my toenails are not like crooked. I do that because if I do it like this, then my toenail will come up like that. So anyway, ah, I love it, you guys. He put this one on because this one had popped off the other day and it hurt so bad, like you guys know. And I had planned on just gluing it back on. I'm not even going to lie. And then I went downstairs and Lockett's chewing up my acrylic toenail. So... He did this one, and this one looks super disgusting compared to this one. And I was like, can you just take this one off? He's like, no, I'm just going to match it. I'm going to make it look as best as I can to match this one. And he did. Like, oh my gosh. And he did it in a matter of like 30 minutes, like my whole entire pedicure. It was pretty darn crazy. So what a blessing. Anyways, I really do not want to co-wash my hair. So I'm not going to do it. I'll probably just put my hair up in like some kind of ponytail. I've just been loving my hair lately, you guys. So I've been washing it a lot. Like I co-wash it and wash it a lot so that I can let my curls down. But I did this style. Or I washed my hair about three days ago, three or four days ago. And what I really did was I raked a bunch of product through it. And then at nighttime, I put it up in a pineapple so that my curls are still there and they're perfect. Then the next day or the next couple of days, I put it down, I shake it, put a little product where it's frizzy and it works, you guys. But today, I'm feeling extra like I'm not about it. I've been doing stuff all morning. So 
I'm just gonna put it up in like some kind of ponytail when I get out of the shower and call it a day. That ain't bad. This is kind of cute. I'll just take out some pieces of hair and call it a day. I love that your hair is in. You look so amazing. Thank it's you. crazy. I'm not saying you look ugly, none, but it's crazy how different you can look when your hair is done. Um, y'all, when he used to get his hair done by this one lady, I'm not gonna lie, she made him way tighter than me, and she did um make them look a little better than how I make them look, but her parts were terrible. I've been ripping those parts apart and like cutting them and retwisting them. Um, because I have to align his parts right. I mean, you know how like if you make a part on the head, it's got to go completely across the head. Hers were going up, zigzag, all kind of ways. So, I've been having to redo all his parts and they're still not completely how I want them to be. Even the front ones, I need to go ahead and break those again to make them all even. We'll eventually get to it, but... Yeah, I think I do pretty good for your hair because I'm not a hairstylist. I think I do pretty darn good for your hair to be retwisting it and making it look like that. And if you guys want to know what I use on his hair, can you go grab it? Yeah. Just because I know there's a lot of questions on like what the heck I use because it works so amazing. It's the only thing I've found to hold his hair and it smells good. It smells like lemongrass and you can get it at the beauty supply store. And you can get it at the beauty supply store. Now where I live now, it's like the rich people out here, they don't have no beauty supply stores. They ain't no corner stores, you know, beauty supply stores, it ain't nothing. So I'm going to have to drive into town. I have to drive to Lansing and I'll have to go to a beauty supply store so I can buy some more of this. I don't know if they sell it online. No, they might sell it online. Y'all, I'm doing too much talking. I really need to go ahead and get my butt up in the shower because, girl, I'm running out of time. Because I've been going to bed late, so I need to start, you know, settling down at 6 o'clock so I can eat and get to bed. But this is what I be using his hair. It's called Lock In. Lock In. Lock tw yeah. And this is the packaging, you guys. I get it in the scent Lemongrass. It smells so good. Oh my gosh, I love that. And yeah, that's what I use in her hair. So yeah, here, babe. Thank you. All right, I'm going to brush my teeth. I'll brush my teeth in the shower. I'm about to go ahead and get in the shower. With my energy drink it. All right. Thank you. He's so sweet, you guys. So every single night, he changes my pillowcase. That is an every single night routine. And every single night, he makes my coffee for the morning time because I like cold coffee. So he's got things that he has like a routine down for me every single night. He's so dope. Like somebody will really show you if they care about you by their actions. Girl, I'm drinking on my chlorophyll right now because it's the only way I get on a consistent schedule to go number two. My stomach will be so bloated if I do not drink my chlorophyll because number two, I have a really hard time, you know, going number two on a good schedule. Like every single day, I have a hard time. Now I go multiple times a day because of chlorophyll. I deal with constipation. Girl, it's, it's really hard. So chlorophyll. I woke up this morning because I didn't drink my chlorophyll yesterday. Girl, I couldn't get nothing out. Ain't nothing came out, girl. Nothing. So, if you're constipated or you're dealing with bloating, uh, body odor, girl, chlorophyll. I have chlorophyll up on my Amazon storefront. If you're looking for it, it's in my link down below. I mean, it's in my bio. It's in my description. So, it'll always be there. My Amazon link for my storefront is always in my description. And I appreciate every single person that purchases off of it. It really does help my family and I. I genuinely appreciate you guys so much. You guys have changed my life. Um, so thank you. And a lot of you guys, the Lord speaks to you guys so much. The Lord uses you guys so much. And I'm just so grateful. I hear beads. Is that you, mom? They just threw my fan off on the porch. What? Boxes busted in half. What? Just threw it. It's laying down like this. Set it up, that was my mom. I heard them beads, honey. Oh my gosh, girl. I wanted beads so bad growing up, but my hair texture, it just, my hair was so thin it would fall out every single time my mom tried to braid it or twist it, anything. I remember begging one of my siblings, like, please braid my hair in a bunch of little braids with the beads at the bottom. That's what I wanted. Like, I wanted to be, I'm not gonna lie, I just, I wanted to be black. That's true. I just wanted to be 100% black, okay? The hair, the beads, girl, everything. And then going to school, all my black friends, their hair just always smelled like so amazing. Like they just always smelled so amazing. That's why when that junk happened with that little girl at daycare and what happened? They were using like shea moisture, coconut stuff in her hair. And the teacher said her hair stunk. That's how bad you stink that you think that coconut and hibiscus smells gross. That's how bad you smell bad. So not making a little girl feel bad about her hair. Yeah, no. Anyways, I'm not saying people here smell better than who, but I'm just saying I wanted to be black growing up. I wanted to be just like my mom. Now I accept myself, but I'm just saying, yeah, that's why I was confused when I seen that drink. I'm like, mmm, I forgot what it was. She was saying like textured hair smells better. So I'm like, girl, if anything, it smells the best because our products smell the best. What is that? It's in here. You don't want to see it? No, I never drink it like this. I always drink it out of a cup with a straw. So go pour it into my Starbucks cup in my bathroom. Anyways, girl, I was talking about my chlorophyll and my mom came up with her beads. And I was like, oh my gosh, it just brought back memories of how 
growing up, I just wanted the hair, I wanted the beads, I wanted a darker complexion. Like, I don't know. Anyways, I hope I'm not offending nobody saying that, but how could I defend somebody if I'm black? Anyway, um, growing up with my mom, let's just say this. I wanted to be just like my mom. How about we just say that? Because I know people was weird nowadays. They are weird. They take everything and just beep, 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 and run with it. Like, it's ugly. Anyways, chlorophyll. Girl. Mm, I'm drinking on this chlorophyll because, honey, I haven't even gone number two today. So if my stomach is bloated, don't mind that. I mean, it's natural. It is what it is. But I'm just saying, if you do struggle, get you some chlorophyll. Top dog. Okay. I'm going to drink a bunch of this down before I, uh, this is my chlorophyll cup. The other one's for the energy drink. This for water and chlorophyll. <laughs> Norton! <laughs> Why are you laughing? Right. <laughs> I'm tired of having to like censor certain things. The fact of the matter is, I could have said this four or five years ago and it wouldn't have offended nobody. But now today, you can't say anything. You can't even say, that squirrel's brown. No, it's not. It's whatever it wants to be. And you don't even know what it wants to be. So don't even speak on it. Girl. <laughs> Lord. I'm about to get up in the shower. And I'm going to see y'all in a minute, girl. Your girl got ready in like a matter of like 2.5 seconds. I didn't put on no lotion, girl. I just sprayed some perfume and got the heck out of the dang door. I barely even brushed my dang eyebrows. But girl, we're going to call it a day, okay? Because we got things to get done. So I actually value city furniture. I don't know what my thing was telling me. I guess it's 20 oh, minutes away. They was playing with you. I don't know why they told me it was 8 or 6 minutes away. I swear, they be acting like you live right next to it or something. You'd be like, oh yeah, it's only four I know, away. it's weird. What? Um, but anyways, I was reading the Bible earlier. And you guys, well, Jordan and I were reading the Bible earlier. We were having a Bible study. Which is so cool because he got to come home today. So we were able to do like an earlier Bible study. Yes, ma'am. Super cool. Anyways, I was reading. This is what I read this morning. Yes, because of God's great kindness, Jesus tasted death for everyone in all the world. Now, not only did he taste death, it was murder. You know, a lot of people say Jesus died on the cross for us. He was murdered on that cross for us. He tasted murder, straight up murder, not just death. How amazing. And it was right and proper that God who made everything for his own glory should allow Jesus to suffer. For in doing this, he was bringing vast multitudes of God's people to heaven. For his suffering made Jesus a perfect leader, one fit to bring them into their salvation. He is the only person fit to bring anybody into salvation because he's the only one that was murdered willingly for us in our sins. And we know Jesus didn't sin. He is the only one that ever rose from the dead. His grave is empty. He's not a prophet. He's God. He's God Almighty, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, the one and only true living God. He tasted death and he took the the power of death from the devil. Since we, God's children, are human beings made of flesh and blood, he became flesh and blood too by being born in human form. For only as a human being could he die, and in dying, break the power of the devil who had the power of death. Only in that way could he deliver those who through fear of death had been living all their lives as slaves to constant dread. Now, why did Jesus have to die on the cross? Why did he have to be the ultimate sacrifice? That's the key word, sacrifice. So way back in the, you know, the Old Testament days, when you sin, you had to bring a sacrifice to God to pay for your sins. So, you know, an animal to pay for your sins and be clean again and be right with God. Now, another key word is pay. You know, when they would sacrifice an animal, it was their animal. So, you know, in a way they would pay for their sin um, with their animal. So basically what they would have to do was, you know, kill their animals and shed its blood as atonement for their sin. So atonement, reparation, compensation. So to make up for their sin, they would shed the blood of one of their animals to be right with God again, which makes you know the biggest difference now because we don't have to pay for anything. The gift is free. I mean, it's a gift, it's free. That's the beauty in this. Well, you know what? People weren't learning. You know, they just kept doing stuff, kept doing stuff. Things started getting very, very bad, very perverse. And so what he did was he allowed himself to bring forth a baby boy into this world, flesh and blood. That means he felt everything we felt. And he made it so that he would sacrifice his own baby boy to be the one and only 
and last sacrifice for all of our sins. So that's why Jesus had to die on the cross because he had to be the sacrifice to pay for all of our sins. So now we don't have to do the whole routine that once had to be done to be clean and right with God. He, what Jesus did was he became the sacrifice. He was the sacrifice for all of our sins. So now we don't have to, you know, bring animals and bring things to sacrifice. All we have to do is ask for forgiveness, believe that we're forgiven and we're clean and we're good. And he remembers our sins no more. I definitely need to do more research on it so that I can um, break it down a little bit more. But reading the Old Testament really explains basically why he sacrificed his life because sacrifices were the way to be right with God back when. So he came in human form, okay? So what does that mean? That means that if he came down here in flesh and blood, that means that he dealt with all the temptations we dealt with. But on top of that, he also was murdered. It was necessary, <clears throat> it was necessary for Jesus to be like us so that he could be our merciful and faithful high priest before God. A priest who would be both merciful to us while also being faithful to God in dealing with the sins of us. For since he himself has now been through suffering and temptation, he knows what it is like when we suffer and are tempted and he is wonderfully able to help us. Now, what does that scripture tell me? That scripture tells me and proves to me that Jesus is the only one fit to save us and help us and guide us through this life and help us to resist temptation because he's the only one that went through it but didn't do a dang thing. And that didn't affect the mercy of Jesus because he could be like, okay, I came to earth. I resisted all temptation. I didn't do anything but love people, help people, heal people. So what about you? You can do the same exact thing. No, instead he's like, I understand. I understand what you guys are going through. I understand what you're going through. I understand you because I was once there. Just because he didn't do anything, he doesn't take that pridefully and it's like, oh, you know, I didn't do nothing, so they, they can do the same thing. No. That's how amazing he is. Thank God for Jesus. God's son shines out with God's glory and all that God's son is and does marks him as God. So Jesus is God. They are one. Understand that. But just to break it down, we ha it has to be explained this way. Your attitude should be the kind that was shown to us by Jesus Christ, who though he was God, did not demand to cling to his rights as God, but laid aside his mighty power and glory, taking the disguise of a slave and becoming like men. And he humbled himself even further, going so far to actually, going as far to actually die a criminal's death on a cross just for us, just for me and you, just for you, just for us to cover our dirty sins so that we had a chance so that God's anger wasn't on us anymore. He did that for us. He suffered. He went through so much here on this earth for all of us. And guess what? He didn't do it with a nasty attitude. He didn't do it upset. He didn't do it selfishly. He did it happily. He did it humbly. And he loved us and he loved the people that spit on him and hated him. He said, forgive them for they know not what they do. To the point where they blindfolded him and they were punching him and spitting on him. I read that stuff in my heart. It hurts so bad. I just, I just cry and I just thank him because he went through these things for us. Speaking spiritually about spiritual warf warfare, this is something a lot of us don't think about. So like I said, I'm trying to study the Bible more. This isn't something that I've studied actually in the Bible, but I've studied scripture on it to back up the fact that the devil's not in hell. You know, my mind like all my life has automatically thought that the devil is in hell. But if he's in hell, how is he tempting us on earth? How is he hurting people on earth? How is he doing these things on earth? It's because he's not in hell. Now I see why people say, when he tries to remind you of your past, remind him of his future. Now in that, I wanna explain something. Since he's going to hell, and he's the one that is guaranteed to go to hell, that's his future, that's where he's going. Ain't no take backs, ain't no second try, ain't none of that. He's going there. And remind you, he don't even want to be there. He don't even want to go there. Why wouldn't he tempt you and have you do things so that he can have company? Girl, if you knew you was going somewhere and you ain't have no second chance, no other choice, there's nothing. You're not on good terms with God. Would you try to help other people make it to heaven? Heck no, we're gonna be like, I want them to come with me because I don't want to be the only one. So 
that explains why he wants to bring everybody to hell with him. And I've seen bumper stickers, you know, people are so far gone, I'm not saying this in like an angry, mean way, a shady way, I'm not saying it like that, but what I'm saying is I've heard people say it, I've seen bumper stickers, you know, saying funny things about hell, funny things about hell, saying things like, you know, the devil accepts us all, hell is welcome for everybody. Yeah, it definitely is, it 100% is, and heaven is as well, so you have to make a decision. Do you wanna burn eternally and it never stops, it doesn't stop? Girl, I can't hit, I can't touch fire without crying, without blistering up, and that's eternal. Minds can't even wrap around it. Or see colors you've never seen before. See, see roads of gold. See the person that died for you, loves you, wants you, cherishes you, knows you're beautiful, knows you're worth it. He calls you every good thing in the world. He doesn't call you those nasty names. The devil comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. So if it's in the category of steal, uh, steal kill, and destroy, it's from the devil. If it's anything good, it's from Jesus Christ. So the devil's not in hell. He's on earth and his demons, his little minions, and he assigns them to jobs. They know where they're going. They want us to go with him. We have to fight. Our father wants us home with him. But in order to do so, we have to resist the devil. And I'm not saying that temptation is not hard, but the Bible clearly says that he faced it all. He has the answer to every single temptation and he can, he's wonderfully able to help us and guide us out of that temptation. He's tasted it. He's done it all. N not done it all. He's been tempted with it all. He was in the woods for 40 days and 40 nights. With no food. And that's when you're really vulnerable. The devil offered him food. He offered him all kind of things. Still no. Still no. He knew who had his back and who doesn't. What good is it to gain the world and lose your soul? Girl, I don't care if somebody offered me a Rolls Royce. That's not from Jesus Christ. I want what Jesus got from me. If he offered me a 1935 bunker, I don't know. I'm gonna take it, because it's from Jesus, and it's gonna go, and it's gonna run, it's gonna do what it's gotta do, because Jesus gave it to me. I don't want anything from the devil. And the devil tries to hand you things, whether it's a man, whether it's a bad friend, whether it's whatever the heck it is, on a daily basis. On a daily basis, he's trying to tempt you with things, hand you things, because he knows that if you stay on that road, you will eventually completely be against God, because you're so comfortable in your sin and you're going with him. You're going to have a lot of company in hell. And I know people are going to say, you know, but the temptation is, it's just so strong. It's just too strong. First of all, nothing's impossible with Jesus Christ. But second of all, the devil has been on this earth for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. He's seen people like you. He's seen people that struggle with these same exact things that you struggle with. And he knows how to make that temptation so strong. He knows exactly what to say. He'll even use things in your life to throw it in and lie to you and put it all in your brain until it makes sense to do that thing again. And then when you're done doing it, he taunts you and he bullies you and he laughs at you and he makes you feel like a fool. And it opens up a door and gives him an opportunity to affect your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ because now he can tell you, Jesus don't love you. Oh no, girl, you ain't worth Jesus' love. Oh no, you old dirty down dog. He don't love you, you ain't loved. And so it puts this hindrance between you and Jesus Christ. And there doesn't need to be any of that. And that can become a cycle to where you feel like he doesn't love me. I've done too much. I can't come to him. And it's not the case. It's not the truth. Why do you think he died on that cross? The devil knows exactly what to say and exactly what to use to get you to fall. But the little power he got isn't compared to the power of Jesus Christ. No, nothing compares to the power of Jesus Christ. Yes, the devil and demons do have power but it's the tiniest little smidget fraction of what Jesus Christ holds and the power that he has. And guess what? We are co-heirs with Christ. So we inherit the power of Christ. That means when you accept Jesus Christ as your savior and you believe that he died on the cross and that he loves you and that he is God, you have the power of Christ inside of you. You just have to use it. It's like a muscle. My muscles ain't all that strong. But girl, if I start working them and I start using them, they're going to be stronger and stronger and stronger. And girl, I could pick up anything. Same thing goes for the power of Christ that's inside of you. You have to use it and use it and use it more and more and more until you got the hang of it. And your spirit's so strong, you can discern whether or not the devil is out to deceive you. Do you think I'm making sense? 
You're making sense. Like with that scripture that I explained, I'm trying to explain it in a way that you guys understand that it is possible. Whatever you're going through, whatever you're facing, whatever your temptation is, whatever your weakness is, he can help you. He's the only one that can help you. Why? Because he's the only one that never sinned. He's the only one that got through it without doing anything wrong. And that's why the murder of Jesus Christ was so powerful because he did nothing but he did it for us because he wanted us to live the way we live right now now a lot of us aren't living how he wants us to live because we don't believe in him we're not tapping into the life that he wants us to have deep down you want it but you feel like it's gonna take too long to get there or you're comfortable with what you're doing right now and you just you don't want to give it up but let me tell you something that's a cycle it's a you, it just you're just you're not going anywhere you're just staying in the circle you're just staying you're just staying you're just, just staying with Jesus you only go up that's the only way you go with Jesus Christ so what I'm trying to explain to you is we don't have much time left everything the Bible said was going to happen before Jesus's return everything he said was gonna happen is happening right now as well as people being more accepting of the devil it's time to do what you know you need to do I don't care what your friends got going on you have to do what you have to do because you're chosen and you're called. Okay, you guys, so we went to Value City Furniture. I don't know why they call it Value City if that stuff is that expensive. They did not have a cute selection at all and they didn't even help us. What the heck, I asked them for help, they didn't even help me, you guys. They just took me to like this random area. I was like, yep, there's <laughs> just stuff everywhere type stuff. I'm like, okay. Anyway, so we decided to go to Bob's Furniture and this is the dresser I decided on. First of all, look at the lights on that bed, but look how cute and look how steep. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. Y'all seen that? So I'm hoping it goes perfect in the area that I need it to be. And I mean, who cares? I already bought it now. So if it doesn't, hey, I got it. I got it. So I'm gonna have to like decorate it to make it look cute, but I'm pretty sure everything is gonna be just fine. It's gonna be delivered. I'm super excited. So that's what I decided on. As you guys can see, those drawers are so steep and they helped us so much in there. It was extremely affordable. The dresser was like 500 bucks pretty unaffordable for nowadays with all this dang uh, inflation so thanks Bob's you guys are awesome and I got a five-year warranty thing on it like protection like if I dink it if anything happens like if I dink it like a dink <laughs> like a dink a dink yeah a dink. like a dink like a dink yeah exactly like a dink. I know what you mean like a dink I in think. your dresser like if something happens exactly. they'll come out and replace it or give you a whole new one and let you keep the other one mm -hmm. so i said girl 70 dollars for that for five years girl come on add it on there add it on there hey if you don't like it you could dink it yourself send it back get your money back i rebuke that in the name of jesus okay. yeah let me stop and then we went to bushes I swear to gosh this is the coolest store in the world i was like okay i want to get this but there's no mustard and then boom they have a whole variety of stuff you can get for your food I swear to gosh they have everything if you live in Michigan, go to Bushes because you will have lunch, dinner, breakfast, everything. Fresh chicken tenders, girl, everything. So, what are we getting? We're gonna both get that? We're gonna both get some turkey and ham club wraps because they got so much in there. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Okay, and then mustard. Yes. You know, I need a lot of mustard. Uh, and some napkins? Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. That's so cool. They hooking us up. Oh yeah. Anything else? We didn't get no salt and pepper? Just a couple each. Yeah. We probably don't need no salt. Mm. You don't think so? No, I don't think we need no salt. Okay. Perfect. Look how cute it is. Look at that little truck. Yeah, I love it. I that is the cutest thing, you guys. I love bushes, you guys. That's my new favorite store to get anything. So we're actually driving to Target to go ahead and eat our food. So we gotta go to Target anyway. So I'm gonna go in there. We're gonna eat, not go in there. We're gonna park outside, we're gonna eat our food, and we didn't even stop there. I should have showed you guys. I wanted, to, I've been wanting to try these new Olipops. They're like vintage, not vintage, but they're like more healthy sodas. They're plant powered, microbiome approved. They have prebiotics, botanicals, plant fiber. It supports digestive health. So I definitely wanna go ahead and try it. I need to go ahead and put on some chapstick, but yeah, so I got the vintage cola and then he got a fruit punch, a tropical punch cola, and we're going to try each other's cola. Mm. All right, let's see what we can do. Um, we don't have no space to put the colas. Right. So I'll, I'll hold this do? one. I can just put mine over here. It's not that serious to me. Here. Matter of fact, no. You're going to put yours right there. Okay. Look how cute the packaging is, you guys. 
look how cute i love the packaging it says it tastes like a childhood fruit punch your favorite like a vacation for your taste buds tropical punch perfectly balances pineapple passion fruit mandarin and apple juices for a crisp colorful and nostalgic flavor reminiscent reminiscent of your favorite childhood punch i can't read like that what with notes of cinnamon ah! read stuff before you buy it i hate cinnamon but the notes of cinnamon, vanilla, and caramel, our old style cola evokes both the new and familiar while gently lifting the spirits with a mix of green tea caffeine. Okay, caffeine. Oh my gosh. I'm cool, eh? Yeah. It's gonna look like it's gonna blow Bro, up. Bro, that's straight up cinnamon. I'm just saying. You know what? Coca-Cola definitely has cinnamon in it because this smells just like Coca-Cola. No, it don't. Oh, look! Coca-Cola definitely ain't got no cinnamon. Dump it out right now, throw it away. Babe! This really tastes like pineapple juice. Babe! It's just like a carbonated caramel coffee. It's disgusting! That's sick. It does smell like Coca-Cola. Now taste it. Whoa! Don't play with me. At first I was like, I've been this ain't running around looking for a cola and you play with me. On some real stuff. At first, I was like, "This ain't that bad." It's pretty good. And then I said, "That's what I thought at first too." Now you taste the caramel. And then boom, that mm -hmm. kicked in. I ain't drinking that. Drink that. Anyway, like, that's really pretty good though. It. I don't really mess with it. I don't, you don't? I don't like either one. They're not all that. They're trash. But I'll drink this. But one. that's not bad. Please don't drink that. I have my own energy drink and I have water. Drink your dang pot, baby. Trust and believe. I was just gonna try it, just for the vibe. You want mustard or no? Just please. I'll just take one because I know you're going to use up. I have three mustards. Oh, thank you. That place is so cool, you guys. And then when you go to get your sushi, because I got sushi from them yesterday. I love their sushi. They have it to where you can uh, separately get your soy sauce and your chopsticks, which can be inconvenient if you forget to grab the soy sauce. Baby, oh my gosh, there's fresh diced tomatoes in here. It's bacon, turkey, ham. Oh, right. Oh, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's literally the perfect combination of things. Mm -hmm. I know people be like, you're just doing too much, girl. I'm hungry. This is awesome. Mm. That mustard was a really good call. I already know. I do this for real. You sure do. I have to have mustard with stuff like this. Mustard is amazing. When I go to Panera, I go home, put mustard on my turkey BOT. Mmm. I thought I had my glasses on, so I went like this to push them mm. up. And I got what I came here for. You guys know I have one of these in my bathroom, but I just know, I just know, I just know it's gonna look cute having two of these. One to roll up my decorative co comforter in, and the other ones to put the other one to put the pillows I sleep with in. I also found some cute little sets, you guys. I had to. I'm sorry, I had to. You don't see stuff like this anymore. Like a set. So I got two sets. I got the red and I also got like an emerald green because they're so cute. Oh my gosh. So yeah, that's what I've gotten so far. Now I need to get dog treats, cascade, hangers for my mom. And I think that's it. The dogs love these, you guys, these dream bones. I give them one every single day just because they have to have a treat a day. Come on now. And they love them. Essence eats it in about 30 seconds and lock it takes it, takes your time and takes her about two to three minutes. Exactly. Don't let her walk away from it because that's just <laughs> gonna grab that up. Facts. All right, I gotta go ahead and get some Cascade. We've been doing, which ones did we get last time? Like, uh, are it the finished ones? The finished ones? I think so. Oh, heck no. That's probably why the dishes are still dirty when they come out. Let's try this one. You got it? Yeah, I got you. Thank you. This actually isn't too bad, you guys. I do not like the name of it, but it's, it's pretty strong coffee. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and grab one box of that. How freaking cool. Let me tell y'all right now, if you go to Target a lot, always check the Target app. Go to your wallet um, because you're gonna have Target Circle earnings and all you have to do is flip the switch on it, show your barcode, hit it, and it's gonna take money off. But also, if I wouldn't have checked in my wallet to see what kind of coupons they have, 
I wouldn't have got $5 off both bra and underwear sets. $5 off of each set. I just randomly hit add the coupon, show my barcode, just in case it was included in apparel and it took $5 off of both of my sets. Always, always look, right now, they've got 25% off of sodas, $5 off of apparel, 15% off of eye and ear care. All you have to do is hit the add button, go to your wallet, show your barcode, scan it, and girl, you've got all the deals that you just added. How freaking cool was that? That was very cool. I wonder how much money I've wasted. Let's not think about it like that. Let's not think about it like that. Oh my gosh, you're so right, you're so awesome. <laughs> He's so cool. He always be like, let's not do that because you're going to spiral down into, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty fun Target trip. The only things I got off of camera was sour cream. Look at my pumpkin. Y'all see her? You guys see Locket? You went to the sprinklers. Look at you, pumpkin. You look like a rat. She looks like a rat, you guys. She went all in the sprinklers. Mm. Love, love you. Missed them. Girl, all that water you just drank from the sprinklers, get away from my water. Liquid IV. In tart green apple. Love that one. I got them. They're actually called storage baskets. I got those um, for my comforter because it's decoration. And then for the pillows that I use at nighttime. So yeah. Okay, I'm doing white, gold, and pink. Yes. Right. Some woods like that. Okay, so you might want to make some woods. Exactly. Girl, time is flying. And I barely even recorded anything. It's literally already 6.30. I said I should be starting to get ready for bed at 6. But honestly, ain't gonna happen. Okay, so I wanted to put them right here. Yep. Oh my gosh, it's so cute, Jordan! Come look! Oh my gosh, Jordan! I'm gonna beat him up, you guys. How freaking awesome. I had to show you guys from my angle. It's so cute! Baby! Look how cute! Oh my god. That's so cute! That matches those. So, so good. High five. Oh. Yay. Five. How amazing. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's crazy. It so, is crazy. So this was the better option. This was the better option for sure. Because it was between these ones and some shorter ones. But I just, I knew that these just give that kind of vibe. She said it's giving. It's giving. Yes, Literally. it's giving. <laughs> Can you put my shower head up? Because I know... We're gonna need like the washer tape to even put the shower head up. Here it is, babe. I knew I had packed it away in a spot that I knew it would be. Y'all remember them shower shelves I've always had in my showers? Girl, I will never use those again. Never in my life. Y'all don't even know how much work it took to take those things down. If I didn't have Jordan, they wouldn't have came down. Girl, I'm not playing and things are so stupid. I would not suggest it. I feel bad for even saying that they were a good idea. If you don't really mind, you don't really care. If you own your house and you don't really feel like you're ever gonna uninstall them, go ahead. But I'm saying, I'm saying right now, if you do not want to have a crazy extra move, do not install shower shelves. My bathroom is such a mess, I can't even show it. It's not true. It is. You're lying, y'all. No, I'm not. Okay. I'm lying? Yeah. I'm lying, Norton? Yeah, you're lying. It's no. clean. No, it's not. Your hair is clean. Compared to my bathroom. Yeah, it sure is. It sure is, y'all. I'm getting them parts right. I'm not playing. Yeah, I'm trying exactly. to get him hooked up. Okay. And I didn't even do the length this time. Usually I twist the length too. I just didn't. I only focused on the roots because I had to be breaking and different parting. So that took up a lot of time and pretty obviously, busy day. Obviously I couldn't see, but she said my parts were like zoop. They were. She got like zoop. I wish I had pictures of it. Okay, so with this, I'm just going to have to let it hang because I don't want to stick anything to the shower. Oh, right. Yeah, I'm just going to let it hang, babe. It should be okay. Yeah, yeah. This is my favorite shirt, you guys. Oh, look at all that deodorant. This is one of my favorite shirts, you guys. And when I was doing his hair, his product had got on it. And the product we use for his um, his locks, it has oil in it. And so oil stains 
do not come out so i quickly got some dawn dish soap i put it all on there let it get in there because dawn dish soap gets grease out and the stain actually came out babe mm -hmm. oh my gosh I'm, I'm so glad whoa what's going on you hear my mom stop that <laughs> Yo, my mom washed the dogs. I'm so grateful. She said they did really good. I knew it was somebody. It's Brent. <laughs> I said, it's gotta be somebody. I'm sorry, but this dang pillowcase is so tacky. I cannot allow that to be seen. I guess the gray isn't bad though. Or how about I do this? So the gray one's not being seen too much. I'm just gonna take all the pillowcases off of it, but then where am I gonna put them? Cause my laundry's full. Since it's four of us, um, there's laundry being done every single day and I can't always get my laundry done. Yep, that's perfect. That green was disgusting. I look to you, can't count on myself. You are that fairy present help. I look to you, I, I look to you, Lord. Cause I can't deep. And no my myself, hey. I'll fail me every time. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? They really tighten this one up. I guess the shower head is put on there super tight, so he's gonna keep messing around with it. I don't know why he put this stuff up here, y'all. This is tacky. I'm gonna figure it out. Um, this stuff up here, boy. My fault. I'm trying to keep it looking nice and aesthetic. Aesthetic. I know nothing could be perfect, but I'm just saying. Aesthetic. So, um, shut up. And I don't want to use like a wrench or anything because I don't want to damage their property. Exactly. And that's like the only thing that would, that would guarantee the work. That I well, you know what? Like Who cares? That. I can pay for the property. That's not even that expensive. That thing's probably like, what, 60 bucks? For me to be happy, I don't care. We can take it off with the tool. I'm not worried about it. Yeah, we can get it off with the tool. Is it guaranteed though? Because I don't want to have a bunch of marks on there and it didn't yeah. even come off. Yeah. Okay, it's guaranteed? Yeah. Okay. Anyways, girl, in the meantime... I'm hopping on my laptop because I wore one of my favorite fragrances today. My mom and I are obsessed, but we have not been able to find a perfume oil in the fragrance. So it's lovely by Sarah Jessica Parker, and it's like one of our top favorite fragrances. So I went online, and I've been searching to find like the oil, like the perfume oil to go ahead and match it. And I found it. But it's like a business website. I'm going to go ahead and buy an 8 ounce because I want to like test it first. And my mom and I are going to go ahead and split that because she's got like little dropper bottles. So we're going to go ahead and split it. And we're going to be smelling it extremely strong because my mom and I, we love for our fragrance to be strong. Not overpowering. There's a big difference between overpowering and strong. I can't stand when I hear people say, you want your fragrance to leave with you. You don't want it to stay in the same spot. Hey, that's all right. That's all right. That's okay. If you leave a room and the room smell like you, that's okay. That's all right. If you like your fragrance strong, girl, spray it up. Call it a day. Don't worry about what nobody talking about. If that's how you like it, girl, that's how you like it. So I'm gonna go, actually, I'm gonna do it on my phone. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this dang fragrance oil. I'm super excited because if I get a matching oil for like every single perfume girl i'm gonna be off the chain i'm super excited babe Why is that? because i ordered lovely perfume oil perfume oil, perfume oil. babe yeah. do you remember when i spent all that money on them new soul de janeiro limited edition body sprays and i never even sprayed them you really haven't now oh this is where my perfumes went now i'm finding or not Tighten up there a little bit more, but it's leaking. Other than that, yeah. Then tighten it now, then. Cause with me tightening it, this is leaving marks. So we're gonna have to like maybe do it like a, a sharpie on it. Put a sharpie on it. Yeah. That's fine. I'll color it. Okay. Cool. That's okay. Cause I didn't want to keep on tightening it, cause it was like stripping it. It is stripping it. We'll just grab some sharpie. All right. Man, I kind of miss my nephew. No. I know, and I didn't know they had that play place up the street, like. We gotta get him real soon, huh? I'm in my nephew. Mm. I wanna make it so much more fun for him next time because the time that he came, we literally had just moved in. I didn't know I had perfumes in here, you guys. I love Treso and love. Girl, okay. I thought this was going to be my shower stuff, like the stuff that was in my shower, but it's not. It's like perfumes and stuff that I didn't even put up. Girl, let's go through the box. I don't know what the heck is in here. Okay, girl, let's see. So, we have a Jador fragrance, 
a brand new J'adore fragrance I haven't even worn yet. I bought my mom and I this. The new J'adore, um, Zoo, whatever the heck. Zoo. Zoo. <laughs> I don't really know, but all I know is that it's alcohol free. So it's actually not even bad for your skin. Wings by Giorgio Beverly Hills. It's a little bit old lady-ish, but I like it, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm not even gonna lie. It smells kind of good. Another Wings. This is really all I could afford a couple years back, so I just kept buying this because it's really all I could afford. You can see one of them's kind of going bad a little bit. It's like a different color, so I'll start using that up. It's just, it's not the best to wear when it's hot outside. It's one of them fragrances. Okay, this is what I've been wanting. This is the only lotion. This necessary lotion is unscented. It's the best lotion to ever mix in with perfume oil. And if you want to know how I use my perfume oil and how I get it evenly distributed, even into my lotion, go ahead and watch my updated smell good routine. I'll have that link down below. This is the best lotion to mix with your perfume oil. Um, this is my favorite fragrance at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. It's called Pearl and it's by Element Edition. Is this even focusing you guys? Girl, I have to change the angle because nothing is focusing. It's so weird, but um, I literally have like a tiny drop left in this Versace um, perfume bottle. Here is my Way Curl Cream. Love it. Love it. Love it. I love how thick it is. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. Like I told y'all, I was shopping because like it just made me happy in the moment and it made me happy to have like nice things. But girl, I'm sorry. This stuff is way too expensive. I forgot how much I, I paid for this, but I think it was like $30 or something. Girl, I don't know, but it smells super nice. But I'm gonna use this like on like special occasions because I also bought the matching body cream. So I'm not saying I won't buy expensive products, but I'm saying they should not be used every single day, girl. I'm not playing. I've been using cheap product let me show y'all the lotion i've been using every single day and it works amazing and it makes me smell amazing the bottle is covered in soot because i literally burned way too many candles but this little cheap lotion i use this every single day and it smells awesome like what is the point of buying extremely expensive products i don't know unless it's for like a special occasion like you have a date night and you want to feel like the luxuriousness okay y'all this Into the Night um, perfume, first of all, they discontinued the actual perfume. This originally, how much was this? It's probably like 40 bucks, maybe. I don't know. They discontinued it. Jordan went on to Amazon and he paid $100. Um, brand new Charosa 40. Charosa 62, yes ma'am. And these are the brand new limited edition, not this one. These are unopened. I'm gonna have to go ahead and try these on camera. Limited edition So De Janeiro body sprays. So cute, you guys. And y'all know I love this. I haven't had none of my good stuff. Oh my gosh, girl, where's the matching lotion? Yes, if you know, you know, you know. Literally, I haven't been on the Sephora website in so long, but I used to check the Sephora website every single day because I was addicted to shopping. Jordan bought me this for my birthday, a Jador body cream. Cannot wait to go ahead and try that out. This is the matching body cream to that expensive body wash. So de Janeiro body scrub. Coco Noir body cream. This junk did not smell good when I first bought it. But then like a year and a half later, it smells so divine and amazing. When that's all gone, girl, I'm buying me a new one. I love this alien body cream. It's just a little bit too oily. But girl, it's awesome. I never thought I would say too oily, but it is just a little bit too oily for like putting on clothes and like putting my hand down or putting my arm down on stuff. You can see the oil. Versace by Crystal Lotion. I got this for free, you guys. And I go online and it's like $60 on it. I'm like, girl, no. Um, Tatcha, Forest Awakening stuff. This stuff isn't even really all that. I'm not even going to lie. I really did like it at first, but then over time I was like, mm, it's kind of cheaply made. You know, when you first buy something, you have to like convince yourself you like it. Fenty Skin, yes ma'am. You can also mix perfume oils in with this because it does not have a fragrance. It's just super moisturizing. What is this? The Fenty Butter Drop? Yeah, this is the Butter Drop. Yep. Butter Drop. <laughs> Melrose Place Body Cream. Bum Bum Body Cream. Carolina Herrera Body Cream. Uh, my favorite fragrance by Juicy Couture. Couture Couture by Juicy Couture. A bunch of mini fragrances, y'all. Look at how cute. Tiny little Jador. Oh, why does this have stuff all over it? What the heck is this? Alien body lotion. Tan lines. This is literally just the same exact fragrance as the Rio Radiant. So they made it permanent. Oh! Jordan! Let me tighten up. Everything's fine. Okay. Yeah body wash it's gonna have to go in my hygiene closet these tatcha products can go in my hygiene closet because i know i'm not gonna be i'm not gonna be reaching for them like that this oil i honestly don't even like it because it's pink 
Like, what the heck? And it gets all over your clothes. Hey. So, don't say A. <laughs> Take off some A. And the box is empty. I love when I get a box done, you guys. It feels so amazing. <laughs> oh, thank you. My dad used to sneeze like 10 times in a row. So we'd have to say, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. Anyways, you guys, this is what it's looking like. Not the best, but honestly, who cares? It's all up there. Yes, ma'am. Girl, that's tacky. I don't know what he thought he was doing. He tried his best, though. What? <laughs> Putting that stuff up there, boy. Girl. Boy. You know what, though, you guys? Since I did get these two, there's no way I am going to buy these nightstands because they would clash so hard. It would just be way too much of that color. So... Please, you guys, if you have any ideas of like what will go cute, like what kind of nightstands I should get, please let us know. What color, what style. Um, if you have an idea, try to find it online and email me a picture. I want you guys to email me pictures of nightstands and label the subject nightstands because I want to see what kind of nightstands you guys think will go cute because I need you guys' advice because I already have this dang gray bed. It's clashing, but I'm not going to buy a new one. It's, you know, it's fine. It looks better in person too, but what do you guys think? What you thinking? What you thinking? I need help. I need help. Don't you kind of think these would go cute? Or something more like this. Like, what do you guys think? So now that I, I put the tape around and tightened it all, but now it wants to be weird and start leaking out of the bottom right here. Uh-huh. Okay, so, so like, okay, as long as the leaking doesn't affect anything, I don't mind that it leaks. I just want to ensure that that water is not going to be on the wall because I want no issues with, like, mold or, like, uh, damaged property. As long as that water is not hitting that wall, I don't have a problem with that because I think there's cracks in between that wall and the shower. I don't want the water getting in there. Right, going down. So there. as long as that water is not direction, like it's not going in the direction of the wall, I'm okay with the leaking. You know, it's going to be what it's going to be. And as far as this thing, I'll just set it down over there. Over there? Yeah. I have like little shelves already in the dang shower, so who cares? Okay. I'm not part of my bathroom right now, you guys, though, so I don't even want to show it. So when I'm not part of my bathroom, I put this light on, and that's it. And, you know, I feel great. Like I was telling them, Jordan, I'm not going to get those nightstands because they're going to clash. You can't do too much of the same color. Right. So I want to know what kind of nightstands I can get. What kind of things y'all think would be cute. Please let me know, you guys. Please, please, please. I still got to get a little cover right here. Please let me know what you guys think is going to be cute as nightstands. I need y'all help. I need you guys. Ooh, and a big mirror right there, you guys. That would be cute. Like a big gold mirror. That would be awesome. Okay. Okay, we're working with something. Now, I'm like, should I do nightstands or should I do two mirrors? Because I'm going to need a nightstand. But I could still do like a mirror and something. Who knows? What do you guys think? Two mirrors or a mirror and a nightstand. Just help me out, guys. Help me out. How yummy. Cucumber, tomato, basil, lemon juice, and a little bit of seasoning, baby. I'm going to do my first attempt, though, before I start eating and settling down. Oh, my gosh, it's so delicious. Mm. I love basil. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Um... I'm gonna attempt to roll this up. How I kind of have it envisioned. Hold on, let me close my door. I love how Jordan and my family gets along. It's so cool. They got their own little bomb, apart from me. Um, but I'm gonna attempt to roll it up. I don't really know what I'm doing. But I wanna see what I can do. But would I wanna fold it like twice over? Oops. And just roll it up. I just got done taking the dogs out individually because they act a fool when I take them all together. And I took them both on a pretty nice walk. I like walking out here where I live because it's safe and it's beautiful. And I get to let them just like take little adventures. Oops! That's so embarrassing. I'm trying to get it to where it's tight. Perfect. So it'll be rolled up like that every single day, if you guys can see. Look how cute. That worked out. That's exactly how I was like envisioning it. And then as far as the pillows, you guys, look, they're gonna have to be sat on the floor. 
nice and gently, but they're going to have to be set on the floor. And I'm saying that only because I know some people are, like, completely against putting pillows on the floor. Girl, I understand you. But, honey, I'm going to sleep with this one tonight. I don't know about this one. So I could put one of the decorative pillows in there. Because obviously I could sit one right here. I'm going to put one in here. I just really needed a more peaceful room. So that is why I'm focusing on my bedroom so much. But my closet, my closet is going to look a lot better, I feel like, once I get my dresser. Even the guy at the dang store, the guy at Bob's Furniture was like, dude, I don't know. It's like every dresser nowadays is super shallow. It doesn't have any space. Now listen, every single night Jordan come up here with a big old bowl of cereal before he heads to bed. Watch this man come up here with a big old bowl of cereal about this big, with a big old spoon. He gonna eat that whole entire thing. My mama sitting up talking about something. We gotta get him a big old spoon because he got that big old bowl like off of Scooby-Doo. And yes, these clothes are clean. I wore these. I just put these on last night and I'll just put this on this morning. What the? <laughs> Get off me. Man, those look so nice. They do? Mm -hmm. You look so like, nice. Thank you. What you got? I have a bowl of cereal. These actually... Your uh, nightly them, bowl of cereal? Them, yeah, I really do eat it every night. This is my bowl of tricks. <laughs> Good, I'm on armpit shave. Barely. Good morning, everybody. It is actually the next morning. As y'all could see, I opened up one of the Sol de Janeiro limited edition body sprays they had came out with maybe like a month or two ago. And it's basic. This one at least is basic. I haven't even smelled the other ones, but this one's definitely basic. It smells like Ariana, 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 girl, I don't even care what the girl name is. That cloud perfume, that's what it smells like. And no, I ain't being rude, but if you want to claim God as a woman, then I don't respect you. So anyways, good morning, like I said. I'm having a pretty darn good morning. The dogs are in a great mood. They're acting super sweet and super good. So I've spent a lot of time with the puppies this morning. Jordan got me breakfast. I've been doing laundry. The whole upstairs smells like laundry. I just got out of the shower. Now I'm gonna go ahead and quickly get ready so that I can start editing today's vlog, okay? But I gotta feel clean before I hop into doing anything because I feel I felt so gross and sticky because last night I was sweating and sweating. So I woke up and I just felt sticky. I just wanted to go ahead and just shower and smell good. So I opened up this Do Not Disturb Sol de Janeiro fragrance and it smells really basic. So I'm going to go ahead and use a perfume oil to make it smell better. So I went and picked out this Vanilla Musk perfume oil. And like I told y'all, I always mix my perfume oils with my necessary lotion. My mom and I need to go to Sephora so I can buy a couple more of these for us because she loves perfume oil and this is the best lotion to mix your perfume oil with. I got this from Sephora, this is from Sephora, and then this, you can get this at Whole Foods. Okay, girl, stop. Let me tell you what I do. I get my little necessary lotion, okay? You get a good amount in there. Then with this one, this isn't a roller or a dropper. So you gotta be careful with how much you're pouring. It's extremely, extremely concentrated. So I just pour a tiny bit and it's actually very much oh that's not a tiny bit that was a lot of it um and it's actually very moisturizing it puts like a beautiful glow and shine to my skin because it's a nice thick concentrated oil i heard a trick what people do is they mix a bottle of that with a whole bottle of oil and use that as a fragrance oil but this is just my favorite little trick Mmm, yummy, yummy, yummy. What i've thought about doing is making my own like perfume oil lotion um I'm gonna find a really good lotion base and then I'm gonna buy it in bulk and then I'm gonna find some dope fragrances to start making my own lotions. I think that would be super cool. I don't wanna always have to mix and mix and mix. I wanna just be able to scoop it out, call it a day and moisturize my body. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is beautiful. I love that vanilla musk. And look how moisturized my skin is, you guys. Look at that glow. Look at that glow. And my skin needs it since I didn't uh, lotion up yesterday. 
I can't stand when men shake women's hands hard. Okay, you can do that to another man. Don't shake my hand hard like that. I've had a pastor shake my hand extremely hard one time and I never mess with him like that again because I am a woman and you just squoze my hand as if I'm some freaking big bodybuilder, almost crumbled my hand. And then yesterday we were in Bob's and the guy was super cool, do not get me wrong. Awesome dude, awesome customer service. But when he shook my hand, especially since it was dry, I don't know what he was trying to do. Like he tried to crumble my dang hand. I'm like, you're not cool. I promise you, you're not getting any points. So uh, no, if you're a male and you're watching this, don't be shaking a woman's hand like that. Do it to another man, not a female. What it shows me is that you're not a real man because real men don't try to hurt females. They don't try to intimidate them. They don't do stuff like that. They're very delicate with women. Sorry, I always go like this, like wipe off the oil. I'm gonna go ahead and lotion up the rest of my body off camera and I'll be back. Okay, you guys, I want to go get dressed. <laughs> And I put on the pants that I bought in my recent video. These are not an extra small. What the heck is this? I don't... Who told you to mark this as extra small? <laughs> Y'all are probably like, girl, you're being really mean this morning. You're really being like hostile. Girl, I haven't even done my Bible study yet. That's most likely why. I need Jesus. There's a reason why I need Jesus. That's the truth. I was like, I'm not even gonna do my hair. Well, you gotta do something to it because it just, it ain't working. I need to put on some deodorant. Girl, I smell like goodness. I need to put on some deodorant and put on that body spray and then put like a perfume over it Ooh. if it wasn't so frizzy girl i'll leave it down babe could you fill up my water bottle yeah they come get it then he'd be filling up the wrong water bottles because i'd be having i have so many different i'm just gonna leave my hair i'm just gonna leave it how it is i don't even care do not feel like even dealing with it um these are extra small. Remember the pants you got me? Mm -hmm. These are not extra small. Wait, Look, whoa. What's what happening? What? And they're only 58% cotton, so who knows how much they're going to shrink. Okay. I think they'll shrink uh, like to the perfect amount, though. Personally. I need water. I'm getting hot. Personally. Okay, I'm right back. Hey, you better stop looking all cute. Looking all cute. Um, I was saying something, y'all. There's a reason why I need Jesus, you guys. I'm like Attitude. Like, I'm the type that, like, you know. Girl, if I don't read my Bible, girl. I thought like, you gotta fill your spirit with Jesus. You gotta fill your spirit with Jesus. That's the truth. So I gotta go ahead and get my Bible study done. Listen to a good sermon or something and get my butt to work. Okay, honey. Okay, so I sprayed my Do Not Disturb body spray. I gotta put my rings back on. If y'all ever see me without my engagement ring is because I either lotioned up and took it off or I was cleaning and I took it off. I'm gonna go for um, Victoria's Secret Teas Candy Noir. I haven't worn this fragrance in like over a year. It's just been sitting there. I love it though. It smells very, it's a sweet like gourmand. It's really nice. Thanks, babe. So you that had ordered the, uh, the venti ice water? The venti ice water? Get out of here. <laughs> Hold on, babe. Let me put this in. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm cleaning up your room? Yeah, because there was a lot of stuff in there. Well, it's a blessing that you didn't have to work today because you can get it all done. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. He been up all morning getting his room together. Yes, ma'am. It's looking good right now. I can't wait to decorate it, though. You look so nice. Thank you. You smell so freaking good. Thank you. I knew you were going to say that. Mm -hmm. You said you knew it? Mm -hmm. Girl, you ain't know nothing. Necessary. What? Oh, it's necessary. Oh, dude. Can you buy me another one? Yeah, where do you get On these? On the Sephora from? website. Oh, that's what you get. Okay. I need like five of them. Okay. Like five of them? At least two. Pretty, pretty. I haven't even done my skincare. I know you don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm proud of you drinking your water. <laughs> um, the reason why I didn't do my skincare was because when I do my skincare, my face gets super red. Mm. And I don't like being on camera when my face is super red. Uh, but yeah, I'm in and off my vlog right now. So if you want to say true. something to them. I just want to thank everybody for coming out today. You know, it's much appreciated and... I just want to thank y'all for uh, for 
the best dressed award. Wait. Is this what you? Oh, this name what you have on. I have one of the, that's one of the things I have on. Yeah, I have oh, that body it? spray on and I have on Candy Noir by Victoria's Secret. You know what's crazy? The first the first time you and I ever got together, I have memories for everything. The day I bought that perfume, mm. the Candy Noir, let me go grab it. Okay. First of all, I was filming that day. They had no idea. Remember the day I bought this, you guys? They had no idea that you texted me while I was in Victoria's Secret and you were like you know, there's like this fest going on at the church, this little church we were going to, and it was like a um, fall festival, whatever the heck, and mm -hmm. he was like, I don't know anybody there, um, would you like to come out? Something like that. So, I bought this fragrance that day on that video, and later that night, I went to the fest with him, and that was the first time you and I ever conversed, like we ever like actually talked. Yeah. Um, we went back to the car, and we just talked, we just talked the entire time. People for were so nosy. For a while. I know. People right? were going on hay rides and they kept looking at the car. They're like, I'm like, please stop. It's not even like that. I'm just trying to get to know this kid. Because clearly he has a crush on me. Vice versa. Not really. Yeah, it wasn't really. Yeah. Not all the way. Yeah, exactly. I wasn't all the way crushing on you. I just did need to get to know you. Because I got to know your brother like completely. Him and I were like pretty tight. So I really wanted to get to know you because I had held a lot of deeper conversations with every single person in that room except for you because mm -hmm. you were so shy. Yeah, I, I didn't talk to anybody in there for real. I know. There were some nights though where I was like a little more open. Yeah, there were some nights. We had a little bit more confidence. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Remember that one time you went to go shake my hand or what the heck and you pulled me in like a dab up and I was like, whoa, I push you back. And everybody was like, what just happened? I was like, he about to, I don't know what he thought he was doing. And you just walked out, you were so embarrassed. Who do you think you are? I'm not that type of female. I'm just not. Like, you went like this. Do it again. I was like, all right, man. Like, and like he, he pulled me in, and I was like, whoa! I don't need to be that close to no male. We ain't together, uh-uh. Mm-mm. And I had never had no boyfriend either, so I, no. I think when you have more experience with males, you're maybe be a little bit more comfortable, but heck to the no, no, no. I now love that. that now look her. She's hugging me every day. That cute from her soap. Yeah, of course. Wait on the Lord. There you go. My face yeah. is going to get red, you guys. From putting the sunscreen on? Mm-hmm. Just from rubbing. See? Oh, yeah. I see. I'm white. Shoot, we like the same skin tone. I'm pale white. We like the same skin tone. Yeah, but my face gets red. Like, look how red my face just got just from applying. I'm, I'm really heavy-handed, though. I'd be like... Mm. I don't really put much product on my face anymore, you guys, after Accutane. Um, I use my topical like twice a week, but I just don't put anything on my face like that. I don't really wash my face with like soaps. I use like cleansing oils because my dermatologist told me that like it's like manipulating your skin into not like producing a lot of oil, if that makes sense. Tricking because, your skin into not doing it? Yeah, because once you strip your skin of all the oil, it wants to produce it. Mm. So it brings back all this oil, all the sebum. Whereas if you were to cleanse with oil... It doesn't strip your skin, so your 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 face and your body's not saying we need to pump the moisture in. Right. So I haven't any of my eyebrows either. I usually put eyebrow glue on my eyebrows. Yeah, you look good, girl. Thank you. I just have to feel clean before I start doing anything. I have to feel clean. Like I'm just that kind of person. I gotta feel clean. I have on no deodorant. How was the shower head and the uh, the handheld thing? Um, it was leaking a lot at first onto the wall mm -hmm. and um, <clears throat> I put my hand on it and I prayed on it because I feel like if he could part the sea, then he can. Yeah. And it literally stopped leaking. It just started dripping like a little bit and it stopped. Like it was squirting out and I prayed over it and then it uh -huh. just stopped after a while. Like it completely. I mean, that's awesome. That's smart to do too. Yes, <laughs> Jesus loves me. Hey, yes, Jesus loves me. I'm just playing. That's oh, so ugly. You just hit that. You know, it was crazy in camp. Like, every single day, there was, like, a, a dance. We had to do a dance. Like, not had to. They would let us kids get in this huge arena. And we would be able to, like, blast music and dance. And they would do, whip, nay, nay, and first, let me out, out them. Uh, yeah. Oh, I don't want it. That. Yeah, we used, to be, we used to be so lit at camp. And I actually, there was this girl named Kayla. What if she watches me? This is a girl named Kayla. She was 18 and she was a guest. She was a volunteer worker at my camp. And I was probably like 13. And she had a baby. So she was like always stressed out. And she was so mean. Anyway, she tried to like intimidate all the kids. She's screaming at them. I said, girl, how about you shut up? 
Because I'm like, I had a sibling her age. And I'm like, she starts like talking to the kids regularly. She starts cussing. So I'm not going to start cussing back. I start going off on her like, tip for tat, tip for tat. We're going, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. Both of my parents pull up. They're divorced. They're, the, they're divorced at this point, but it's the first day at camp. So they both show up. She talks to my mom. She talks to my dad. Well, she talks to my dad first. And he's like, you're going to have to talk to her mom. Goes to my mom. And my mom's like getting on me about it, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you don't even understand. Like, this girl's like terrible. Like, she's, oh, and she's young. And she's just snappy at all these kids. Like, like she's got beef with them. And anyways, I ended up getting in a little bit of trouble. And then my dad told me, he got me tickets to a Megan Trainer concert, VIP. Mm -hmm. And... He told me, if you're going to keep acting like that, you're not going to be able to. I said, I don't give a crap. I don't want to go if that's going to be the case. Megan Trainor's voice ended up going out, so I couldn't even go to the concert. What? Yeah, because her voice ended up going out. But she was my favorite at the time. Um, but I still felt bad because my parents were getting on me about it, so I just started being nice at camp. And then she was, like, all over me. All the time, all over me, trying to be my friend. Like, I was the cool girl. She's like, how are you she was just disgusting but i ended up being cool with her and she ended up like letting me get away with stuff and doing certain things because she was 18 and young and just dumb and mm. i ended up being cool with her but we clashed real bad in the beginning so then this older lady she would just like be with me 24 7 she was probably like 50 something and this girl started throwing balls and they were like the hard like golf balls because it was a game that you throw them she started mm. throwing them and it almost hit my brother i get to running the girl started running i'm cussing like so bad i'm like i'm about to Anyways, somebody grabs her and put her in a room. She pulled me into another room. And she was like, I'm going to tell you this right now. 100% I understand where you're coming from. 100% she told me a whole story how some girl hit her brother. She put up to the girl's house. She said, but I don't want you to leave the camp. You're my favorite. She's like, I don't want you gone. Like, you are the light here. Like, you're awesome. And you're going to get in trouble and you're not going to be able to come back. I'll deal with her. The little girl hit a little boy in the head. The knot was this big. The knot was so big because she missed my brother and hit a little bitty boy. The boy's head, he didn't come for a couple days. By the time he mm. came back, the jump was huge. It was so bad. Like, she threw him, bow, having a temper tantrum because she had some kind of rage issue. Anyways, that camp was crazy. This is a girl, Ariana. Um, she was older, too. Her and I got real tight. Kayla, her and I was kicking it. The older lady, her and I was kicking it. And then the leader, Kevin, we were all cool. Like, they were cool with me. And I'm like, I'm a kid, and I'm kicking it with the adults. Anyways, I don't know where I was going with that. I'll probably edit all of this out. Because, like, who wants to hear these dumb stories? I just always got in real cool with the adults. It was just always weird. Like, my friends would be like, what's going on? I'm like, girl, I ain't no snitch. I ain't doing nothing wrong. They just, they're just attracted to me. I don't know. They just keep coming up to me. They love me. And I wasn't the type to ever disrespect my elders. But since, like, she was 18, like, I had a sibling that age, I wasn't really worried about it. She wasn't, like, my elder elder. We were just, like, a couple years apart. Like, girl, I'm, like, 13. You're 18. And you're playing with me. Not saying it's right. Do not disrespect anybody, okay? Okay. Anyways, you guys, with that being said, your girl obviously needs to go ahead and turn off this camera and do some Bible study because I'm so much calmer. Like, I do my Bible study. But um, I love every single one of you guys. God bless you all in Jesus' name. And my tip of the day is to drink a lot of water. Drink your water, okay? I love you guys. God bless you all in Jesus' name. And it's time for your girl. Ta-da.